But the origin of Tessen is actually a type that you can open and close. Hiraku Tessen っていうのは本来あの軍船なんですよね。But have you noticed that some of them are made from wood? Are those called Tessen iron fans too? 見てもらうとわかるんですけどね。<笑> This Tessen was made in 1615 by the young Hongo Enzo. And welcome to Let's Ask Six and Say. I love to be your host, Shogo from Let's Ask Shogo, and this is Six and Say. Six and Say, once again, I'll show you what I'm You might have heard of the existence of the Tessen iron fans before, but do you know what they were for or how you fight with them? So, today we'll first explain the history of iron fans and why Samurai carried them. As you can see from his collection, Six Sensei is a big fan of Tessen. So, I'm sure you'll be able to learn something new that you've never heard before anywhere else. After the history lessons, we will also demonstrate various self defense techniques using the Tessen. They can be used even today. Please enjoy both part one and part two till the end to learn about all of them. First of all, we can see that the Tessen all look quite different. Let's ask Six Sensei about that. あの鉄線って言ってもあのその大きさとかねそういったもので実はあの使い方変わっちゃうんですよ。形がいろいろあるんです。小さいもの、長いものとかね、太くて重いものっていうね。あと開くものと開閉できるものとただのこういうね鉄の塊のものと。So, although all these fans here will be called Tessen, they all come in various shapes and sizes. But the origin of Tessen is actually a type that you can open and close. Hiraku Tessen っていうのは本来あの軍船なんですよね。その時にもちろん普通の竹で塗りをかけてね、作った軍船ってあるんですけど、戦場にそれ持っていくとね、しょっちゅう壊れるんですよ。で、側を鉄で作らせたと。それがあの始まりで。サムライ、always carried fans as a symbol of their authority。but regular bamboo ones would easily break when they took them to the battlefield。in order to make them stronger。they start to use steel for the outer layers。but still。the paper of the inner layers will rip and break easily。so eventually。they start to make everything from steel。then especially because fans were something that samurai always carried。someone started to use them as emergency weapons。for self defense。This is how Tessen developed. Even after the eras of war ended and the peaceful Edo period began, the fan continued to be a part of the formal attire of the samurai. So the fans and the samurai have had a very deep relationship for a long time throughout Japanese history. But have you noticed that some of them are made from wood? Are those called Tessen iron fans too? The, 実際に持って歩くときにこういう鉄のものを持って歩く場合。もあったし木の場合もあるっていう。うでいずれにしても鉄線術なんです。なるほど。うん、で木の方があの軽いし、はっきりとは言えないんですが、はい、鉄のものがそれであって、木のものは蛍光道具っていう捉え方もあれば、これ自体がそもそもゴシングになると。なるほど。You can get what they so specifically the wooden ones are called Moksen wooden fans, but the usage is exactly the same as the iron ones. Just like how you might train with Bokuto wooden katana, the skills you learn can be done with real katana too. This one is super tiny. Is this a Tessin too? これはね、あの鉄線じゃないんです。実は扇子の形をしてる。鉄線と同じ格好なんですけど、いろりに鍋かけたりするときに天井からこう吊るして鉄の棒があって、はい、で鎖がこうついてるでしょ。はい、こうなる鎖でこうなって、あなるほどあのあの部分なんです。へえ。それに紐つけると、はい、分動術になるんで振り回せば。<笑>それは私のアイデアです。Generally, this part of the irori is a fish shape, but some samurai families used fan shaped ones instead. As we explained in a previous video, people in the past used to use anything as a weapon. So Six Sensei created an original weapon by tying this to a string. It looks like a tessin, but it can't be used like it. Most of these fans have strings and tassels on them, but what are these for? Yeah, but, you know, 
と同様で石本房はねやっぱこう鏡にも太鼓にもつけるっていうところでね大事なものっていうねはいはいはいあと昔の絵で見たことあるんですけどこういう軍船型に非常に長い紐つけてる絵が見たことあるんですねきっとあそこまで長いとこう振り回して投げつけるとかあとはそれで縛るとかねそこまで考えてた使い方なんじゃないかなって。In Japan, traditionally, strings and tassels were tied to important items because it was believed that it will connect them to the gods. So, this is also something that proves how important the fans were to the samurai. But just like the katana's sagio string, it could have been used for practical purposes too. Lastly, let's take a closer look at the tessen with high artistic value. For example, this is a very interesting thing. This is a very interesting thing. This is a very interesting thing. 真鍮の板を薄い板を重ねたものを挟んで開くかのように見せかけてるんです。あとこれがすごくね重たいんですけど、これ 1.4 キロあるんですよ。1.4 キロですか。はい。でこれはちょっとあの来歴のある名品で見てもらうとわかるんですけどね。This tessen was made in 1615 by the young Hongo Genzo, who was a swordsmith who worked for the One-Eyed Dragon. He made this tessen specifically for people of a high position joining the Sage of Osaka. Hongo Genzo himself took part in this war to make and fix weapons. Six Sensei said that there was once someone who said he'd like to buy it for his museum at a price as high as a good rank katana. Then finally, let's learn the actual techniques of using the tessen for self defense in part two. However, for safety, he will be using a wooden fan to demonstrate. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video about the metal fans, be great if you can hit the like button and please leave us any comments if you have any questions about the Tessin. And our goal is to achieve 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. If you help us to achieve this goal, we'll be able to do a lot more in the future. Also, it could be online lessons, selling merchandise, or even going to your country and city to do seminars of Asamai Shindu. It'd be great if you can help us out by sharing this video. Cool. おお、他にこういう時にここ、あ、そこの角、で足踏みつけてこうや、で足踏みつけてこうや、ね、であとここ、ああまた角使って、次は首、そっからこう入る、でここで決まっちゃうんだ、ああ、ああ出てきた、わかる。